If you somehow managed to stay awake during EA's Borefest of an E3 2018 press conference, or I should say E3 2018 investors meeting, then you may recall that one of the things they announced was a new tier to their Origin service called Origin Access Premier. Now, for $15 a month or $100 a year, players will have full access to new upcoming EA games like Madden 19, FIFA 19, Battlefield 5, Anthem, and more, as long as you remain subscribed. And on top of that, the subscription allows you to play these games a full week before their official launch date. The previous version of Origin Access, now just called Origin Access Basic, is still $5 a month or $30 a year. And like before, it offers a 10-hour trial for new EA games a week in advance rather than the full experience. On top of that, both Basic and Premiere offer a collection of old EA games that players can access as long as they remain subscribed. Essentially, Premiere is EA's take on Xbox Game Pass, which for $10 a month, on top of offering a library of older first-party and third-party titles, grants immediate access to newly released Xbox exclusives. Depending on how often you play EA games, it's certainly possible that Origin Access Premiere may give you a lot of value for your money. For those who regularly purchase EA Sports titles and are planning to play Battlefield 5 and Anthem, paying $100 a year instead of at least $60 per title might be well worth it, especially when you consider that with Premiere you get the special editions of new releases. Not to mention that on top of all that, you also get access to games like the Dead Space series, the Titanfall series, all the Bioware games like Dragon Age and Mass Effect, and much more. But at the same time, you do best to remember that the second you opt out of your Premiere subscription, you lose access to all those games. So if you're only interested in a handful of EA games like the upcoming Anthem, and you intend to have full ownership of these games, you might be better off in the long term for going Premiere outright and just shelling out the $60. Now, with the implementation of Origin Access Premiere came a sacrifice that EA tried to slip under the radar. Few will deny that one of the best things about Origin was the On The House program, which every few weeks or months gave out one free EA Classic title, which anyone with an Origin account would have limited time to download at no charge and keep forever. Games they've given out include Dead Space 1, Battlefield 1942, and Battlefield 3, Plants vs. Zombies, Peggle, Dragon Age Origins, SimCity 2000, Command & Conquer Red Alert 2 and Yuri's Revenge, Jade Empire, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Dungeon Keeper, and Mass Effect 2. It's kind of like what Sony does with PlayStation Plus, where every month they give out free games to subscribers, but the big difference is that the free PlayStation Plus games aren't actually free. You still have to pay for the Plus subscription to get to the so-called free games. With Origins on the House program, on the other hand, you weren't required to upgrade to Origin Access to download these games. Even those with regular Origin accounts, which are free to make, could download them and keep them. Granted, the rotation frequency was always inconsistent, with some free games being featured for as little as a day and others for as much as 129 days. But hey, free is free, and some of the games they handed out were pretty damn good. The only caveat to this program was that these games were only accessible through Origin, so this was clearly EA's way of attracting more users to the platform. But it was an insignificant price to pay when you were granted full ownership over some substantial games at zero monetary cost. Unfortunately, with the launch of Origin Access Premiere, EA has decided to end what was one of few bright spots of having an Origin account. EA didn't even make any kind of announcement. People had to find out for themselves when they discovered that the On The House promotional webpage now links to the Origin Access homepage. Some hoped that this was an error on EA's part, but when various news outlets reached out to the publisher, a representative responded to all of them with the following statement. Origin on the house has been retired and games will no longer be offered through the program. This change won't affect any games players downloaded from the service prior to that date. Those are theirs to keep forever. So yeah, basically EA has quietly killed what was one of their only consumer-friendly programs. This is certainly not the end of the world or anything, especially with how inconsistently and infrequently the program rotated between free games, but it was a nice little perk people could look forward to that the publisher has now vanquished in favor of their new subscription tier. 
I feel like there was no reason for EA to get rid of the program outright, especially given it's one of few sources of positive PR and consumer goodwill. Not to mention that there was so much more EA could have done to leverage this program, but instead it kind of felt like a wasted opportunity. Just to give you some perspective, throughout the course of four years the program was active, only about 30 unique games came into rotation, which still leaves a sizable library of EA classics collecting dust. You know, it wouldn't be at all surprising if it turned out that On the House didn't attract as many users to Origin or pick up as much steam as EA had hoped, given how stingy it felt like the company was being by rotating free games so infrequently. It could also be a matter of EA having gotten what they needed out of the program after its benefits peaked, and the company deciding that On the House has outlived its usefulness now that they can reap benefits from their shiny new premier subscription model. Regardless of what the reasoning might be behind On the House's cancellation, the bottom line is that EA will no longer be offering free games moving forward. Again, it's not the end of the world, especially since the program didn't make that big of a dent with how game rotation trailed off after a while, but I am sure plenty of people took advantage of it and will be sad to see this thing go. And it doesn't help that EA didn't even give us any warning, they just kind of buried the program under the rug. Anyway, that's it for this news update, thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content and would like to support this channel directly, consider donating on Patreon. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.